you, Demons Brad Phillips. Look at this. We just reviewed this not too long ago. This is the P40 from Esheen of the 400 millimeter Warbird series. You may notice this bigger brother here, the P47. And you're thinking, why would you review the one turdish Esheen that you've seen in the last so many years? And this is why. Because I got to thinking after we reviewed this, and we're gonna fly it right now for you. And I'm just gonna give you one quick reminder about this plane. We had this little pocket here that we used to put a couple of pennies in there. And that would be a total of three mm -hmm. for the record. And look how sweet this plane flies now that we have those in there. Now, of course, we haven't flown this for a little bit. You can wheels up, wheels down, and it does have squishy tires. Quick detach prop. We have the three-bladed prop. It came with two-bladed prop as well. It actually came with two two-plated props mm -hmm. and a three-bladed prop, which is awesome. I wish it would have came with three twice because I would have put one on the P. T28. T28, sorry. Up, down, armed. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, beautiful sunset tonight. Let's just show you a couple passes. Look how good that thing flies with basically a couple of pennies in there. Now I am in beginner mode. Oh, do you see the bird engaging? That is totally <laughs> following me. Awesome. Holy crap, it's actually gonna attack my plane. That is so funny. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna have to go into advanced mode and start the attack. Oh no, we have a second bogey. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? I did. It's chasing off the other bird. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, so let's try to land at our feet. By the way, those birds are super aggressive. There's about 30 of them here yesterday or the day before, and, and they were trying to eat bugs in the neighbor's yard. Let's see if I can land it from about here. Okay, so as you can see, really good landing actually for a little micro. Okay, so 400 millimeters. We've had great luck with the Esheen 400 millimeter series but we've had terrible luck with this one. It's the only one that we haven't enjoyed. And I think today we're gonna fix it right now in Brian Phillips RC fashion, which means we're gonna flip the on switch to on. We're gonna take off the, now they, they call this a Razorback, but a Razorback would be right here. It would actually be a, this is like a bubble top. And then it would go straight back like this. And there would be, um, you know, like the fuselage would be ribbed up and there would be no visibility out the back. That's called a Razorback, so it's not a Razorback. So if you see Razorback in the title, my apologies, I know the difference, but they don't in China, evidently. All right, so radio's on. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to do that first. Now, full disclosure, I'm using one of my P40 batteries. They use the same size battery. We have no nose weight on this one yet, just to show you that. And there wasn't any like spot to pull out to put it. You could pull the wing out and do it, but I'm gonna show you another trick today, and that entails Screws like this, there's nothing special about these screws, but you can get, well, I guess we might link to them, we might not, I don't know. You can always follow our Amazon affiliates links. And then we have some coins in here. Look at all that monies, <laughs> as our kids would say. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, plug this in so that I can, now, when you plug in your planes, make sure you level them quick so they can actually level. Those little Molex connectors are a little bit challenging sometimes. Now, you'll note there's a huge cavity where this could go all over the place. But if you look up in there, there's really only one way you can put this, and that is as far forward as possible, right? Well, how are you gonna keep it in there? Whatever, I don't know, I'm gonna throw it in there and see what it does. Now let's just look how, how horrible this one flies, okay? So we have to arm this one up. Nope, I guess we don't have to arm it. Okay, so dead calm right now. In beginner mode, it actually looks like it's flying halfway decent and slow, but it's just kind of wonky once you get out. You see how it's at an angle and all that crap? That's terrible. Okay, so it might have been the way I held it for getting it set up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of beginner mode and just show you how terrible it is. Even in beginner mode, it's pretty bad. Okay, so there's, it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, oh my goodness, immediately terrible. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is in advanced mode, it's just garbage, okay? So watch this, look how slow that flies. And that's about as good a landing as you can do with that plane. Now, that's a function of terrible cheap remote. You'll also note the 400 millimeter Warbird series actually has a different transmitter. Now, yes, this is terrible and, and garbagey, but this one's even worse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to make that one fly as good as this beautiful 400 millimeter Warbird. We're obviously gonna link to both planes. We've been reviewing the 400 millimeter Warbird series 
since the beginning when it was a P51 only, and now you can get the P40, the Spitfire, the T28, which is my favorite in this series, but this one is the most beautiful so far. Mm -hmm. And also, what other ones the am I missing? Corsair. I think that's all of them. Yeah, they have a Corsair. Now it's one, I, I think honestly, the P40 is a great one. Here's what I wanna do. I wanna use these short screws, but I think we're gonna need long screws gonna give us more weight, more bang for the buck. And you're thinking to yourself, Brian, how are you gonna, how are you gonna use screws to level this? To get this thing nose heavy and actually properly, I'm gonna put screws in it mm -hmm. with my hands. And I'm gonna show you right now. Cause this is what we do after all on Brian Phillips RC is we take the turds and we put lipstick on them. Yeah. And then we also do really good planes too. So that being said, this will be in the turd column for now. Right now. And camera crew, if you can just hold yep. your hands out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my fingers and see, oh yeah, tail heavy, right? So since I'm losing nothing by doing this, really, if, if it turns out worse, all I have to do is pull this out. And what have I lost? One hole in a turd. And like, like literally, of our life. literally, I could care less if this thing goes in the garbage can. If I can't get it to fly better than it is right now, I don't even care. And look, I'm going into foam. I just gotta make sure I don't hit my motor mount. So I am gonna let them stick out a little bit and then we can make adjustments on weight as we see fit. And maybe this is too heavy and then we can go back to the shorter screws. But you see, it's not gonna really leave that much damage and you can always fill that with spackle and then you can paint it with a silver paint or some other color if you really don't care. But you see what I'm doing here, super easy. You can also just push it in until it pops. But see this one, I gotta get a little bit deeper into the foam. I got good backing on it actually, surprisingly. Ooh. Okay, so I'm hitting the motor mount there, but it's not gonna hurt anything. Okay, getting better, but still not there. That's too, that's a lot of screws. That's a lot of screws. Okay, that's... so we're just gonna plop another one in here. And yes, I know it looks terrible, but it's actually a pretty soft foam. Okay, there's three. Okay. Checking, still terrible. Goodness gracious. Yep, looks terrible, but you still. Know people are like screaming at their computer right now, right? Hey, but just look how durable it is. It is. Okay, give me more. There's five. Let's see if that's enough. I know, I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, good Lord, how can, I might need more. Well, maybe we should try it with six. No, let's see if it balances. Oh, we're there. Okay, so I'm gonna let it sit still and I'm gonna let it reinitiate. I'm gonna go back to advance into the middle and all that crap. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. No, I'm serious. I hope I'm not hitting a screw currently. Okay, so now I'm gonna see if I can come out of advanced or out of beginner mode and go into advanced and see how terrible it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's still flyable. Holy cow, now there's trimming that needs to be done. Let's see if I can get it done. Okay, so I just pushed down, wow! Okay, back into beginner mode. We need more nose weight. But look at this. Look at this, guys, it's actually flying halfway decent. You can actually land, too. Oh, no tail, there's, there's no steerable tail wheel. Right. Okay, so let's grab some more screws. <laughs> Remember, our baseline is the P40. So if the P40 is a good flying or a better flying plane, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this at least as good. So we're gonna go seriously crazy. Now, I don't okay. know if we're gonna use all five of those, but let's go ahead and try it again. Now, I may unplug the power and let it reinitiate in a level state just to see if that helps a little bit with the trims. I also noticed that the dihedral on the wing of this P47 was not enough. So it mm -hmm. kind of never really got yeah. the scale lines right. Yep. So there's definitely some concerns here, but if I can get the CG right, I'm gonna definitely try. Okay, so let's try doing this. I wanna push that one all the way in. Okay, so we're up to seven. Yes, look how terrible I am to this plane. Here's eight. Now you could do this other ways. I'm just going with the quickest, dirtiest method and hopefully I don't hit the power wires, okay? All right, so now what I wanna talk about for a minute is sometimes you have to actually reinitiate to get this level. So I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna actually kind of hold it level like that. Okay, now it's initiated. Now let's do wheels up, wheels down. Oh, it's alive. 
Guys, I gotta say, it already feels better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Oh yes! Still touchy on the elevator, but this is in beginner mode no less. I still feel like it's not quite level, but it's pretty close. We could always level the board to fix that. You see how it's leaning to the left? Mm-hmm. A lot better now though. Yeah. Okay, now intermediate, let's try it. There's intermediate. Oh, it's sort of flyable still. Amazing. Big improvement, it's still terrible. Okay, there's advanced. Guys, that's so much better than nose straight up in the air and immediate crash. I wonder if now it's just maybe a little bit too weak to like actually fly. Okay, back into beginner. You know what, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I think we might have lost this battle. But if you've already lost, what's it hurt to try and make an adjustment? Nothing. Right. Except for we wasted those screws. Oh, uh, you can take me <laughs> out. <laughs> so now let's juxtapose this to the P40. The P40 is actually a good flying plane. You're good there, camera crew. You can just hang tight there. Okay. I gotta say, it's still a big improvement, it's, folks. Yeah. That is a big improvement. So now, going back to the P40. The P40 was never in question, but we added the nose weight to help a little bit. It just kind of took the edge off. Mm -hmm. I felt like this one flew better. Now, why is the electronic board better in this one than that? I don't know. We'll have to ask Yishin. Oh, wait, we gotta do wheels up, wheels down. I can't oh, okay. cheat. Okay, so wheels up, wheels down. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Just look how much more precision there is on the elevator. It's still kind of wonky, but I feel like it does it. Okay, now we're gonna go into advanced mode after we get a little altitude. There's advanced mode, guys. Look how much better that mm -hmm. is. Okay, if I wanna do a barrel roll, that's me, not the plane. Okay, visibility is terrible on these when it gets to this time of night. So if you're a beginner, don't think you're gonna keep your orientation because you probably won't. And if you're a wonderful camera crew, also, be aware, it is hard to tell on a P40 because they disappear. They really do. The top to bottom is terrible, even on our one point. Is it a 1.4 meter FMS? I think it's a 1.4. Beautiful. Okay, going back to beginner, just because it's a lot more fun to fly this on beginner mode. And you know what, guys? Don't be afraid to fly on beginner mode. If it's more fun for you, just fly it in beginner mode. Who cares? It's still super fun. And by the way, this very plane flown by a retired Navy vet that was out watching us fly the other day. We had him out, a friend of the family, kind of a little bit older and uh, needed something to do to kind of get his spirits up and all that stuff. And he had a blast. We were out here flying for about four hours and oh my <laughs> goodness gracious. And he flew this thing better than I did. Cause look, I just ran into this wall at full speed. So weird. It was almost like I planned on doing that. I totally didn't, by the way. That was an accidental crash. I didn't have enough authority to make that turn. But look how, look how good this is, guys. I'm gonna just brag on Ishin for a minute cause that was a bad crash. Look at that, guys. Flying already. You know what? If you did that with virtually any other plane we've reviewed, it would have been garbage. Yep. Okay. Oh crap, oh no. Again. Don't damage my door. Oh, uh, you broke the prop I, that time. Oh, dang it, I did break the prop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so guys, if you're in the market for an awesome plane, let's just talk about this for a minute. First of all, it, com it comes with three comes props. With all right, you know I'm gonna try it. I do know. You know I'm gonna tote, I'm gonna try it. You, you have to finish your story though. So anyway, so the story was, I said, hey, do you wanna fly? What's the guy's name? Jerry. Jerry. So I said, Jerry, do you want to try flying it? And he's like, oh, Brian, I haven't flown for like 10 years. He used and, to fly big and, gas. Yeah, and like, I, I had a stroke and all this stuff. And it's like, I'm not sure I can handle it. And I'm like flying around and I just gave him the transmitter. Yep. And the guy flew it for like 10 minutes. Off and flew it. it was great. Never mind. Well, let's see if it flies like this. <laughs> it does. Dead stick landing. <laughs> so beautiful landing. That's and that's all you get for today, guys. Ishin, super fun. Really cool planes. Obviously the P40 is amazing unless you run into things at full speed on purpose. You may actually break your prop. <laughs> but at the, the good news is it comes with three of them. Mm -hmm. So seriously, that was full speed. I mean, I was like intentionally ran into the wall 
the second time. The first time was an accident. The second time was on purpose. And I thought maybe it would do it, but it did actually break the second time. Now, that being said, if you're not intentionally running into stuff, they fly with the best of them. Very good. Except for maybe that one. So just don't buy that one. But yeah. buy that one over there. The P47, sorry, not going to work. However, however, one thing you can do, and I think this would probably work well, is if you decide like, hey, I want that P40 and I love the way it looks and I love the way it flies and I love its durability. Dang it, I dropped it again. Oh, son of a gun. So any of your parents watching, dang it, I dropped it again. Just buy that one if for Christmas. If you have Christmas. children, yes. if you have children, you may have seen them, ah, dad, I dropped my plane and then they start crying and the tears well up and you're like, why did you drop that thing? It was expensive. This is what you need. And you need to order it today for Christmas because look, I crashed so hard that my pennies almost came out. Oh no. So seriously, these planes are great. They're super fun. Just don't get that one because it's maybe not so good. Even if you put 17 screws in the front, it still crashes. If you have it though, you already bought it and you're bummed. The 17 screws Try makes it better. Try putting some screws in it. Here, hold this camera crew. So one other thought is after you have viciously crash this. And I mean, you're gonna have to like crash it and then run it over with the family car. If the board survives, <laughs> you could probably take the controller board out of this P40 and put it in that P47. So I can tell you from experience, I had to check on the manned aircraft before I threw this again. Um, on that plane, if you put this controller in it, it would fly. It would fly better. You wanna know how I know this? Because I've, built hundreds of foamies. Right. And this receiver is better than that one. I don't know why. Ask Ishin, ask the Chinese. This transmitter would fly that one. Okay? Throttle cut is a good safety feature, by the way. Doesn't come equipped on here. So that plane, even with seven or eight screws, eh, you can't get the CG far enough forward to actually work. And also you make it so heavy that outside of beginner mode, it's no good. Now in beginner mode, it's fine. It's just not maybe as fun as flying this beauty or the Spitfire or the T28 or the P51. What was the other one? Corsair. Corsair or the Corsair. All great choices, super fun. Check the link in the video description below. You can get your very own following those links. You'll help support our channel and our family, obviously. And that's how we do this all for you here on Brian Phillips RC. So stay tuned, so much more fun and excitement for you guys sitting at home in your wonderful air conditioning, not out here sweating with me.